Here I'm going to show you five or six awesome tips for using find and replace in Excel. Before we start, check the video description and click the link to teach Excel so you can download the files for the tutorial and follow along. And make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials. Okay, let's get started with perhaps the most useful tip or the one you're going to use most often, I believe, which is that you can replace cell references. So here on the formulas tab, this is URL, teachexcel.com, nice, just a regular URL. And here we have a very, very long formula to get the uh, base URL. So just teach Excel from all of this jazz. It's a pretty awesome formula, actually. And let's see, it refers to cell E2. So you can't see it because it overlaps the cell right now. But if I zoom out and go back here, you can see down here is E2. So oftentimes what people would do if they want to change it from E2 to A1, where it needs to be, is click and drag and just keep doing this and you have to do it over and over and over and it takes forever but stop wasting time use find and replace for this so select the formula that has the references you want to replace hit control f that's much easier to remember or if you want to go straight to the replace tab control h i always forget that one but if you hit control f you can always go to the replace tab and then input what you want to look for so I want to look for the cell reference E2. What do I want to replace it with? A1. Now if I just hit replace, it's going to only replace the cell references in the cells that I have selected. If I hit replace all, it'll replace them for the entire spreadsheet. So watch just replace. And look how nice that is. Look at that. It's so beautiful. <laughs> So in just a matter of seconds, I can replace all of these cell references right in here. Easy peasy. My gosh, it took me years before I realized that one. So that is very awesome. And if you want to, I will actually yeah, back it up. Okay, it's going to undo the zooming as well, which is not what I want to do. Let's just select this one, do the same thing again. And I will show you if you hit replace all. It does it for even the cells that you have not selected, and then it tells you how many were replaced. So be careful when you hit replace all because it's going to work for the entire worksheet. And you can really mess some things up there because maybe you don't want to replace every reference to E2. Maybe you only want to do it in some formulas. So do be careful. The nice thing is that if you mess something up, you can hit control Z and it's going to undo that here. So it's not like if you run a macro and you cannot use control Z for that. So this I think is the most helpful tip. And really quickly, if you go ahead and click the options button here, you get a lot more options. I'm not gonna cover all of these, but I'll end up covering most of them here. Match case, match entire cell contents, most of them are self-explanatory. However, if you wanna replace them for the entire workbook, go ahead and under within, go from sheet to workbook. That can also save you a lot of time, but of course, be very, very careful when you're replacing cell references. Now a little continuation of this. Let's go ahead and do it with named ranges. So let's say that I've got my employees over here and they've got a grade. This is the old grading scale and this is a named range. So when I select it, you can see over here it says it is score table. And when I select this one over here, it is score table V2. So let's say I want to update these and maybe I have thousands of formulas, thousands of employees or thousands of whatever and I need to replace the formula. Very, very simple. First, I'm gonna double click in here and just make sure that I copy it correctly. Score table. Now let's select the cells to replace. Control H. Paste that guy in and paste it in down here and then add V2. And now let us hit replace or replace all, doesn't matter here four replacements and the grades are now updated and of course zero is government approved because those employees are never fired <laughs> so it's really cool really simple there's no point in having to go through all these formulas and retype it just find and replace save yourself a ton of time now let's go deal with text so not just formulas so over here in text 
Let's zoom in a little bit. We have an employee chart. And I got a bunch of interesting little things going on here to show you. And the first one is, let's say we want to find every employee that requires an evaluation. And they've got a bunch of text over here in notes. But each one that needs an evaluation will at least have the four letters E-V-A-L for eval. Just like that. So just use find for that. Control F. You don't need to use replace. Just control F. And let's type E-V-A-L within sheets, search by rows. By rows means if it's going to go left and right or columns up and down. Most of the time you don't need to deal with that. And then look in formulas, values, or comments. But we're going to stick with formulas. OK. And now let's hit find all. So if I hit find next, it just sort of cycles through them. But if you hit find all, you get this awesome little guy down here that shows you the location of each cell and its contents. So this is the book, the sheet is text, the cell, and the contents. And if we click it, it's going to go there. If we click this one, it's going to go there. So it's really, really cool. So that way you can see how many matches were made. And you can do a little evaluation here and scroll through them. OK, I need to look at this one. I don't need to look at this one. And you can just kind of go through the list. And that's very helpful. So find all is what's going to get you that. Now let's say you want to match only if the cell contains just eval, nothing else. So if you're searching for small words, you may get tons of matches, but you want to make sure that's the only thing in the cell. Well, OK, Control F. So remember, Options, click that to get to this view. And then just do Match Entire Cell Contents, Find All, and we get only one match right there. So don't forget, just hit Options, Expand It, and this is where you get all the cool stuff. Now let's say you got a worksheet, you're cleaning the data, and you have a lot of crap that you need to get rid of. You need to get some empty cells, such as these dashes here. Well, very, very easy way to do that, find and replace. So you find the dash, you replace it with nothing. So we're going to find the dash, and we're going to replace it with nothing. Now, of course, if you're worried about which things it's going to find, which things it's going to match. You want to make sure you don't destroy anything. Go to the Find tab, hit Find All, and let's move it over here. Then you can just quickly kind of cycle through them just to take a look at everything. Make sure it's OK. Everything looks OK. We can delete it all, so go to Replace and Replace All. For replacements, okie dokie. No more dashes. Now when you want to do things like consolidate the data, remove empty rows, you can do that with ease. Now, of course, I've got this little status thing over here, which came about as a result of a little formula that I made. So I'm going to assume that wouldn't be there, or that would also be a dash just resembling an empty row or an empty cell. And a lot of times, you get data like this when you import your data from another system. And it wants to have a little marker. So the marker might not just be a dash. It could be three dashes. It could be a few letters. Maybe it's empty cells. It could be it could be whatever the hell that software wants it to be. And you can search for it and remove it very easily like that. Now I want to show you a super cool thing that not that many people know about in Find and Replace. So let's say that we want to once again find the guys that need evals. OK, go over here. Eval. OK, nice. I'm going to hit Find Next, Find All. All is good. OK, I want to uncheck Match Entire Cell Content, so I find both of them. Now, let's color them. How to color them? Very simple. Keep your Find What as it is. You can verify down here that it found what you wanted. Keep Replace With Empty. Do not put anything here. Click Format. Now let's go to Fill. Let's fill it with red. Hit OK. Now we can do Replace All. And you'll notice that the text stayed exactly the same. So Excel is smart enough, thank goodness, in this situation to realize you don't want to kill the text. So the text is the same, and the formats have changed. That's it. So now you can very quickly, when scanning the worksheet, say, oh, OK, take a look at this guy. OK, take a look at this guy. 
and it makes life so much easier. And if you're doing filtering, you can filter by colors up here. So we can go data, filter, OK. Filter by color, show just the red. Makes life so much easier. And of course, when you're cleaning data, go ahead and take out the empty rows, which is very, very simple to do. So just find what you want to find, keep replace with empty, change the formatting on the second one, and you get a bunch of formats. Of course, you could put whatever you wanted in here. You could put some letters, and it would replace eval. So notice that eval has been replaced here, and eval has been replaced here. So it doesn't replace the entire cell contents, just that for which you are searching right here. OK, I'm going to go ahead and undo that. And now I want to show you another really, really cool trick, which is that you can use wildcard characters for find and replace. I might actually do an entire tutorial on all the cool things you can do with wildcard characters, but for now, let me show you a really cool way to do it. So let's go to citations. I used this in another tutorial, and it was just such a good example, I had to include it here again. So I copy pasted this from a Wikipedia article that just lists a bunch of countries. And just four entries here. But you notice, when I zoom in more, when you go to clean the data, we have citations. So a little citation right there, a little citation right there, I think there's even a citation over here somewhere. Yep, right after Republic, a citation. So this little guy right here. And each one has a different letter in it. And I want to get rid of all of these little citations. And we can do that using Find and Replace. So Control-H. OK, let's get the format out of here. No color. Or it's clear. OK. What do we want to find? All right, let's zoom in here. So each citation has a left bracket, has some stuff, and it has a right bracket. And the stuff is what we don't know. We don't know what it's going to be. Delete that. Put a multiplication, multiplication sign in there. So on a US keyboard, it is Shift-8. And that little asterisk is what is going to say, match any character. So it will match any character that has a left bracket and then a right bracket and then characters in the middle. It'll match any character in the middle is what I mean to say. So it'll match this G here. It'll match the F over there. It'll match anything else that's here. Now you have to be careful. What if you have a bunch of text with a bracket on the left and a bracket on the right? It's going to match all of that. And it will also remove all of that or replace it with whatever you put down here in replace with. So do be very careful. Let's go ahead and go like that. You might want to hit Find All here just to verify that everything is hunky-dory. And then you can take a peek. It's going to be a little bit confusing with the citations. But this is one way you can quickly cycle through the data, as I mentioned. So just make sure everything's good to go. And now let's make sure it works. Take a look at the end of Republic when I hit Replace All. Done. So all done, we made four replacements. OK. Now let's hit Escape and Control-Z real quick. So this changed size, but don't worry about that. That was just formatting. So if I hit Control-Y to repeat that, it just went smaller because I didn't properly clean the data completely before it was here. So that's all that happened right there. And a little bit of the text over here changed as well. But the only data that was removed was these little tiny citation things that are a pain in the butt. So if I copied in every country and every territory and had hundreds of citations, man, that would take forever. So just control H, whatever's on the left side, whatever's in the middle, doesn't matter. You put an asterisk there, then whatever's on the right side. And it's going to remove all of that. Now there's a lot more complicated things that you could do but that's all there is for this tutorial. And I really hope that you learned a lot and you'll now think more about using find and replace to speed up working in Excel, especially when it comes to formulas like these big guys on the first tab. Don't be replacing any more of this by hand if you don't have to. I hope you liked the tutorial. If it was helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and accept notifications so you can see all the new tutorials.